Hello, welcome to my new channel called Loom Life. This is rubber band looming, not crochet looming. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow bloom charm. This example is pink for the outside, white for the sub outside, purple for the inside, and it includes a white capion with a black extension band. You can attach this fun charm to all your rubber band bracelets. Please subscribe to my channel for more charms and bracelet designs. What you will need for this tutorial is a loom, a hook, and some rubber band colors. My colors today are going to be mixed. You won't need a clip at all for this charm. What you're going to do to start out is you're going to go from your center peg to your left peg like that and keep your pins looking like yous. And now from your outer peg up so it should look kind of like an L. And now inwards. So you're going to create a hexagon. So this time you're going to repeat on the other side. And I'll need to get another yellow to complete the outside of this charm. Okay, and this color is going to be this. So the yellow is going to be this pink, I think. The one you put on top will be the outside. We are going to take our next color. This time I'm going to use turquoise. And for this we're going to create the purple. So we're going to go from our center peg to the second peg. And this we're going in a clockwise, clockwise direction. So now we're going to go to 4 o'clock. And now to 6 o'clock. Now we're going to go to 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 12 o'clock. Now it should look like this. And now we're going to create our rings. Um, my next color is going to be red. And we're going to start the exact same way we went out. So we're going to go from the center peg to the left. Now up. We're going to go out. And now we're going to start from here yet again. It's important that once you finish the side, you start from the center peg again and not just keep on going. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to place our cat band, which is white. But this time I am going to use a black band. Cat band is you're going to twist a band into a figure eight and bring it upon itself. Where we're going to place this is in our center pick. Sometimes it may be a little loose, so you may have to repeat this to get it perfect. We're going to turn our loom around so that we can loom. What we are now going to do for our looming is we're going to start looming our um, bands in a clockwise, counterclockwise position. So we're going to go to our center peg. It's a little hard to get in here, but we're going to pull back our black cap band. Like this. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this band, the six o'clock band. We're going to pull this to our pack. Next, the next band is the 
3 o'clock or the 4 o'clock. Okay. Like this. And we're going to keep going clockwise. I'll fast forward from here. So once we're done with that step, it should look like this. Now what we're going to do is there's a blue band with two red bands and a blue band. And we need to get to these yellow bands. So we're going to pull back all of those blue and red bands. We're going to grab this top yellow band. Pull it to the outside. And when we're looming this, we're going in the same order as we just placed our round bands. So now we're going to go to here, bottom yellow, loop it forward. We're only looping the bottom yellows. And I'll fast forward from here. Before we're done, we have one more step to do. You can see that there's two red bands right here. We're going to grab one of those red bands, pull it around the last peg, other red band, pull it around the last peg, like this. Now we're going to stick a hook through all of these bands. And I usually use black for this. And now we're going to create this, which attaches it to our bracelets. Take a command, attach it to the end of your hook, pull it through all of those rubber bands, and grab the rubber band that's farthest away from the tip of your hook, pull it through, and pull it off your loom. You don't have to hold on to this anymore because it's completely attached to all of them. If you're using breakable bands, well, all bands are breakable, but the ones, ones that are really easy to break, you better go really slow. Well, you should. And then this will be your butterfly blossom charm. No, your rainbow bloom charm. I don't know, I said butterfly blossom. This is what it'll look like. And you might have to pull the ends to make it a little better. I think it makes it look more poofier. And this will be a rainbow balloon charm. These are what two of them look like. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching how to make a rainbow balloon charm by Loom Life. I am a new rubber band bracelet channel and I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel for more charms like these and more bracelets headbands, accessories, like earrings, necklaces, rings, bracelets, headbands. Um, yeah, I even invented my own headband that will be coming up next. And I hope you enjoy your new rainbow boom charm. Like I said, please comment. Please rate. Please leave video ideas in the comments below. And please subscribe for more new videos. Thank you for watching.